Hello everyone and welcome, my name's Ali Ye, and today I have a gameplay with the brand new uh, Zombies Camo and also the brand new Reticule, the uh, dollar sign uh, Reticule, so both of them are pretty damn awesome, all of the Reticules I'd showed uh, yesterday in a separate video when they all launched on Xbox Live and also a video showing off all the camos uh, both on a gun and on a riot shield so you guys can clearly see them. Now personally I love the new Zombies Camo, it looks really really cool on guns like the MSMC because part of the gun is just a very nice sort of reddy purple colour and the rest of the gun's covered in zombies. It looks really, really cool. Uh, in terms of the reticules, most of them are pretty damn useless, but they look pretty cool, and uh, it's funny just to get kills them. So first of all, I apologize for all of the tapping of the Y button. I'm in a severe habit, a severe um, addiction, if you will, and I need to stop it. It's just like a, a thing that keeps my fingers warm and keeps my brain in gear when I'm playing, when I'm moving around, there's no one around me. Is this a good way to sort of focus? Uh, but I know it's not very nice to watch, so I'm definitely going to stop that in the near future. But I've got some tips and tricks to talk to you guys about, some general uh, help in terms of getting nuclears. I get a lot of comments saying that people struggle with them, and uh, I'd never really gone for them in, until recently, and uh, once I set my mind to it and worked out the best way of doing it, I've got a fair few in the past week or so. Um, so first of all, the most obvious one is just to run non-lethal score streaks, either UAV count, UAV uh, VSAT, or UAV VSAT, and also the EMP. The EMP is a very underused score streak, but it's super, super effective. It basically um, renders the enemy near useless. They have no heads-up display. They have no idea how much ammo is in their gun. They have no idea... Um, where the radar is, so they, they can't see where anyone else is on the map, they can't use any score streaks, it's really, really powerful. And uh, I was actually playing with another team member, so me and myself, uh, myself and my team member were both using non-lethals, non and the combination of us both using non-lethals meant we could bounce both of our VSATs off of each other. So when I got one, it helped my teammate build up another one, when he got one, it helped me build up another one. So we had a sort of constant flow of these VSATs in the end. If you have a few friends, perhaps not necessarily a full party, but you have maybe three or four of you guys all running non-lethals with a game mode like uh, Domination or Kill Confirmed, where the game lasts for uh, over sort of seven minutes, maybe sort of seven to ten minutes, it gives you enough time to get the 30 gun streak that you need to actually get the uh, nuclear score streak, and it is pretty awesome, it's a cool target, of course it doesn't actually get you anything like um, a nuke or anything that actually affects the gameplay, uh, but it's just a cool thing to aim for and a cool thing to unlock and get. Now, a few situations within this gameplay you'll see uh, that on the enemy on my radar there's a clearly an enemy near uh, here for example and I shoot uh, shoot at one of them and just run away and um, the thing is the enemies will just chase you as they, as they did there on screen they just followed me and uh, it means that once I've gotten cover around the corner I can then just turn around ADS or essentially bring up my sights on the uh, corner that they're about to run around and it actually leads to a very easy kill you just got to make sure that you've got enough time to leave the gunfight where the the enemy shooting at you and you've got enough time to then get to cover otherwise you'll just end up running away from a gunfight and getting shot in the pack and you've lost it uh, without even challenging the enemy which sucks um but in terms of all of the new camos and all of the new reticules, uh, all of you guys on Xbox, of course, will be able to purchase them, 160 Microsoft points each. If you don't know all of the details and all of the sort of uh, look and feel of all of these new pieces of DLC, I have done separate videos on them yesterday, so definitely check those out first. But it would be very interesting to know from you guys uh, whether or not you have downloaded them, and if you have downloaded them, which packs you prefer the most, which camos you prefer the most, and if you're actually using any of the reticules and are finding anything, any of them to be useful. Now, the dollar sign one is a little bit silly, uh, but a few of them do actually work quite well they don't obscure your view too much as long as it's clear where the actual site is aiming then it can be very useful some of them are really weird if it's like a line along the screen uh, where the actual point at which the bullets are coming out of your gun is unclear then it's pretty much a useless site unfortunately um, but we're coming towards the end of the first half here and um, and get in a very tricky situation. This is very much about just being aware as to where the enemy is. And without the uh, visa up, I would have lost these gunfights for sure. So I knew there was something coming from both my front and my side. I left the guy to my side because he didn't know where I'd gone. He just wanders past me, walks straight into a chain. I take out the guy on the left. He then comes back through the train and I am watching the doorway and I can take him out for an easy kill. At this point, I don't want to waste my visa. There's only a few seconds left of this round. So I'm just checking uh, what's going around. And I throw out my uh, CV 
there is unfortunately a glitch with the C4 it's still exists within multiplayer where if you throw a C4 and explode it it won't actually do damage sometimes I believe the uh, glitch exists when you're throwing a C4 near some sort of wall or some sort of surface um, so if it's in an open area it should explode uh, more often than not but if it's near uh, some flat surface then sometimes it will not explode correctly and not do any damage which is annoying if you're trying to clear an area and you can't actually see the damage or see what area you're trying to clear so you throw a C4, uh, I think it's exploded and it hasn't actually done any damage to the person that was there so sometimes you can get dud C4s unfortunately but um, the, the Type 25 has also had a buff, it now has slightly more movement speed which I really like, I can honestly feel the difference between this gun and say another assault rifle like the TAR, I can definitely feel that I'm moving a lot quicker and it also does a little bit more damage at uh, mid ranges uh, so it's a little bit more powerful, kills and I believe one less bullet at certain mid ranges which is really cool um, so the Type 25 is now, it, it always was a good gun, I think it just sort of doesn't compare to guns say like the AN9, uh, 94 or the MSMC, so it's sort of like a middle gun, but now I really honestly enjoy it and I'd recommend you guys using it as well. Uh, I'm using stock on it just to make sure I'm uh, as quick as possible. Stock on the assault rifles is really useful because otherwise you're just very very slow compared to anyone using a submachine gun and it just helps you win those gun fights uh, where you're wanting to get out of, out of danger as quickly as possible. Um, so here I'm just continuing my nuclear streak, it's actually a flawless gameplay so I don't die at all throughout and I kill that guy just as the train comes along the screen which is awesome. And uh, another thing to mention is just the fact that I use the cover around me, I know the map well enough where I can enter a gunfight where I have uh, cover on mainly half of my body so that I'm not an easy target to be shot at and uh, it means that even if the enemy gets the first shot or even if he reacts quickly he will have to either shoot through a surface to fully kill me or he'll have to aim high um, to get a quick kill on me so the gameplay's just come to an end here I hope you guys have enjoyed if you've enjoyed the nuclear gameplay give it a thumbs up button I really appreciate it when you guys do that it would be awesome to see how many we could get on this video and uh, also let me know in the comment section down below if you've downloaded the camo if you like them, which one you prefer the most. So thank you very much for watching guys, you can click on the screen now to check out all of my recent videos. The final part of my Die Rise Zombie series will be out very very soon, probably within the next few days. Uh, so watch out for part 7 and I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you on my next video.